In this phase, we're going to create the alien. The alien is the visual representation of our player. When we create the alien, we also are going to create a series of animations, which at different times will make the alien appear differently. Once we have all those, we are going to marry it with the player. Make sure you have your USB flash drive connected and that you have the step-by-step -step project guide open somewhere. This phase is pretty simple. We're going to create the alien. I'm going to show you how to create animations and set their properties. And then when we're all done, we're going to save the project and we're going to move on to combining the player with the alien. So let's get started. Let's start with the project guide. Go to the table of contents and find the alien. All the steps you need for this phase are right here. I already have Construct2 open. We're going to be adding the alien in this phase, and I want to add the alien to the game layer of the level one layout. Make sure that this layer is unlocked and that it is active. Right click on object type, insert new object. We're going to be creating a sprite called alien. Notice the crosshair. Notice how it's going on to the game layer. Go ahead and click. Click on the folder, and we want to find alien stand that's 76 by 113. Right here, double click. So by default, our alien is going to be just looking at us. We want to set its origin point to the bottom center, 38, 113. We'll take it to the bottom. Okay. I want you to notice that there's this animation dialog right here. See how it says default? Every sprite has a default animation, but you can add additional ones. You've been seeing animations your whole life. Animations consist of frames, and frames are shown one by one to simulate in your mind movement of something. And that's all we're doing here. Our alien is going to need multiple animations to simulate the different types of movement. One of the things I want you to see is that when you have an animation selected, it also gives you access to animation properties. Construct2 is all about giving you the power to configure and create the game you want. And one of the ways it does that is through letting you set properties. We're going to be creating a couple animations. Creating animations in Construct2 is a little tricky, so just be patient and you'll get through this just fine. We're going to create a new animation by clicking in this animation bar, add animation, or we're going to call it walk. Our walk animation is going to be four frames. In order to add frames, you use this animation frames dialog here. Click on the folder, and the first one we're going to add is alien walk 77 by 117. So there's our first frame. What we want to do is set its origin, 39, 117, bottom center, and then we're going to add frame. We're going to continue on, find alien walk 80 by 115, set its origin point to 40, 115. Add frame. Alien walk 77 by 117. 39. 117. Bottom center. Right click, add frame. And our last. Alien walk 77, 115. Origin point, 39, 115. Bottom center, right click, add frame. You'll notice that it'll have an empty frame on the end. You can right click, delete that. If you wanna see your animation, you can right click, preview. And it'll play it for you. Before we move on, let's set the properties of this animation. We want to make our walk animation a little faster, 
So we're gonna go eight frames per second. And we want it to loop, to continually play over and over again. Now when I come over to walk and I preview it, it's a little faster and as you can see, it is looping. Let's practice what we've learned by creating a couple other animations. The next one we're gonna create is a jump animation. Same process, add animation, call it jump, make sure it's selected. And for the jump animation, we're gonna go and find alien jump, 85 by 115. See how it looks like he's jumping? Let's set the origin point. 43 gets us halfway, and then 115 will get us to the bottom. Right click, add frame. This is a single frame animation, so all we have to do is delete the empty one off the end, and there are no properties to set. This is an animation that's just gonna freeze, it's not going to loop, so the speed doesn't matter at all. Let's add another one, let's call it fall. Go to the animations bar, click add animation, and we'll call it fall. Fall, similarly, it's a single frame animation. Let's click on the folder. Let's find alien fall, 83 by 117. Let's set its origin point to halfway, which would be 42. You'll notice how there's no half pixels. And 117, we'll bring it all the way to the bottom. Let's right click, add frame. Delete the empty one off the end. So, so far we have a default, a walk, a jump, and a fall animation. When the player wins the game, we're gonna show a special animation called success. Right click, add animation, and let's call it success. He's gonna have his hands in the air. He's gonna be really proud of himself. Let's click on the folder. and Let's go to alien success 83 by 112. Set the origin point to halfway, which is 42 pixels. And then we wanna go all the way to the bottom, which is the entire height of the graphic, which is 112. There we are, let's add the frame. Let's delete the empty frame. Now we have animations that we can use to make the player look like it's doing almost anything. We've got all this down, let's click the red X. And let's go ahead and run the layout. So right now, the player's just sitting there showing us its default animation. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna marry the player and the alien together. This is gonna provide us for really smooth platform movement. Let's go back to Construct2, let's save, and there we go.